Right. Hello. I hope you can't hear the rain in the background. It's been raining for a while. Anyway, time for part three of this little series. By now, you should be at least a little bit familiar with what's going on. If not, there's two other videos that came before this one. But in order to quickly recap, I put forward the idea that you can probably make interesting and unique playstyles by just giving the classes a new weapon as long as you think a little bit outside of the box on what the weapons are allowed to do. And to prove that, I set out to come up with an idea for a mechanic for each of the Soto weapons that are coming in a later update. There are some restrictions. Basically, I have to stick within the actual things that we've already seen on a weapon, which mainly means I'm not allowed to add any additional UI elements or change any existing skills, because that shouldn't be able to happen for just equipping a weapon. This time around, we're looking at the heavy classes, and I do have to say, this was the hardest to come up with ideas for, and I'll talk about why that is as we go through them. But let's get started with Guardian. And yeah, Guardian feels like the hardest one for someone to try to come up with something unique or interesting. Now you could say this because Guardian is boring, but I would also say that's a bit mean, so I instead chose to call it well-rounded. I can't take the approach that I used for Necro or Ranger, for example, where there was a clear gap in the gameplay and the class fantasy. Guardian covers themes from the Holy Caster to the Battle Cleric to the Paladin quite well already, and those are kind of everything you want out of the Guardian class. Similarly, it's hard to work with the existing mechanics. Virtues are just not super interesting, and have never been particularly versatile. There is a reason every single elite spec has replaced virtues with a different, more involved skill. It's not like Mesmer, where Mirage just keeps the regular shatters because it has other things to work with. Which left me in a bit of a pickle, because I'm not actually that good at coming up with original ideas. I'm better at just fixing what's already there. So here's what I ended up on. Many Power and Condi Guardian builds end up playing very, very similarly to each other, because a lot of the time most of your damage on Condi builds comes from proccing the F1. Because of that, you want to use multi-hit weapons, which also happen to be really good for power. So, we could turn pistols into dedicated Condi weapons that have single-hit skills that actually have inherent Condis on them and lower power ratios. Maybe even non-burning Condi duration so that Firebrand doesn't immediately become a balancing problem. For example, by giving it Torment, you could use the theme of inflicting people with the weight of their own conscious. Or something of that nature. Or just throw bleeding on it, because bleeding works on everything. You can add some additional smaller mechanics to this, like making predominantly ammo skills that have really long cooldown, but get refunded whenever you do a specific thing. A bit like the old Fervent Force from Untamed, but significantly more controlled and less intense. Maybe every time you trigger a Virtue, or every time you use a Utility skill. Something of that nature. This would allow you to further differentiate Pistol Condi builds from existing ones. Guardian really doesn't need any weapons with crazy mechanics on them, it just needs ones that encourage playstyles that feel different from other things. To get away from this tendency of all Guardian builds kind of meshing together into this blob of sameness. So even something relatively simple as this can work. For a skin, the only way to make Gun Guardian work thematically is to theme it around, like, Inquisitors and the Inquisition, but I'm also imagining a fairly chunky silver metal thing that could have this healing symbol that is kind of unanimous with Guardian wrapped around the muzzle. It looking chunky and large also would do a good job of distinguishing it from the Mesmer rifle and the Ellie pistol. Also, please, even if it doesn't look like that, name it the Silver Bullet. The name is right there, it's so perfect. Moving on to Revenant, who's getting Scepter, which personally makes me quite happy because I think that fits really well. Uh, this one I also struggled with extremely. Weapon Mastery has already addressed one of my biggest complaints with Revenant, the just general lack of options, by giving everyone access to Shortbow and Greatsword. And I guess Shield too. Ahem. But because Rev has such low weapon variety, 
it's hard to imagine what a playstyle defining weapon on Revenant could look like, because so far every single Revenant build has been defined by its legends and its class mechanic F skills. Really never its weapons, because it's not like you really ever had a choice between weapons. So some ideas that I had floating around just didn't work out. Uh, for example, encouraging you to stick with a single legend would be a very different playstyle as opposed to the regular swapping between the two on regular intervals, but it would also be really, really boring, so I'm not gonna do that one. The opposite idea, making the scepter skill at least partially modal so that they adjust to which legends you have equipped, either to which one you're currently using or the one that you're currently not using, or getting unique effects based on the combination of the two legends you have equipped doesn't really work either. While this would let the weapon be quite flexible and thus help with Revenant's weapon variety, that doesn't really do enough to become its own playstyle. The idea of the combination was a little bit inspired by what I've done for Elementalist, but Ellie can go through 10 different two attunement combinations in a single fight. Revenant has only two attunements in a fight. So the variety of doing something like that would be entirely out of combat, not in combat. So here's the idea I ended up on. The Scepter skills could gain a significant benefit whenever you spend a large chunk of energy all at once. For example, the Scepter skills could be extremely powerful with an almost non-existent energy cost, but have an incredibly long cooldown. Like the three skill would have a cooldown longer than any five skill in the game, for example, but then get its cooldown reduced whenever you spend energy. For example, scaling with the amount of energy you spent in one go. If you give it a non-linear scaling, that would mean it wouldn't work well with upkeep skills, which are the other big gripe I have with Revenant, it's over-reliance on passive channeling skills, and instead it would encourage you to use big energy spenders that you really rarely see used, such as the various Legends Elites, which encourages you to think very differently about the skills you use. And I think that could be really interesting. It is a total balance nightmare, but I think it's been a while since the days where Revenant constantly had its energy economy changed. So I think it could work out. But for a skin, this is pretty easy one. Just make it a messed up Cryptus style scepter. It, that is just the obvious answer. If it's a good Kandi weapon, then it would fit incredibly well with Malix as well. Though I personally do hope it's a power weapon. Having another ranged power weapon besides Hammer that's maybe actually good in PvE would be really nice. And last up, Warrior, which, unlike the other two heavy classes, was hands down the easiest, most obvious concept to come up with. Do I even need to say it at this point? Heal, Warrior. Like, like come on, we know, right? It's so obvious, right? That, like, just make this a healing weapon. That's it. That's all you need. It's literally it. End of video. Uh, uh, okay, maybe not quite the end of the video, but no, really. Giving Warrior a real healing weapon would massively unlock its support potential. You already have incredibly strong sources for Might and Fury. There are the traits for Quickness and Alacrity, so... Chuck some protection on the staff, and you're basically good. I will totally admit that for Heal Warrior to work out properly, they do need to take another look at Warrior's inbuilt support options, especially in the utility skills, just for general balance. But that's really not that hard to do. We've had multiple support skill set reworks over the past year for exactly this purpose, and I think the only reason they haven't done it for Warrior is because they've changed how warrior support works so many times during that exact same time frame by first reworking banners and giving them quickness and then reworking it again when they moved all of the quickness and alacrity sources out of utility skills. So we have one to two quarterly balance patches where they can very easily take a look at this and get warrior ready to be a real healer this time. And before anybody says healer doesn't make any sense with warrior's class identity, that's literally not true. The tactics trait line already has healing traits on it, 
and they are themed after being a field commander and a marshal, and that's and that's real easy to do with staff. You just make the staff skin a battle standard. Not necessarily the battle standard battle standard, but just one that gets the idea across that you're a standard bearer, that you're a field marshal, that you're commanding your troop, and doing the funny meme of yelling at people to get them back on their feet because that's hilarious. And that was the last weapon. I guess Guardian and Revenant being difficult to get ideas for had to make up for Warrior being so incredibly obvious. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed at least one of these ideas. And if you did, you know, maybe do the YouTube things, leave a like, subscribe, that type of thing. I've already got an idea what the next video is going to be. And it's going to be a little more serious and a little more analytical than this one. So stick around the channel if you want to see that. And thank you for watching. So until then, goodbye.